guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Juliana and in today's video we are going to talk about a novella that is called The Great God Sun by Arthur Macon. This is a novella that was written in 1890 and is considered to be a great inspiration for other writers such as H.P. Lovecraft and Stephen King. So, getting right into the um, plot of this novella, we here don't have a contextualization or a presentation of the characters. We just dive in in the story right away. And this, this uh, novella is divided in um, subtitles, like we have it's not so different stories because they are interconnected, but uh, we have sh um, extracts of stories with different characters throughout the, the novella. And the first one is called The Experience or The Experiment. And we have a young man, Clark, that is going to the house of a doctor daughter dr raymond and dr raymond called him because he's about to do an experiment because this is a doctor that believes in the occult and the dark matters and he's trying to prove something and so clark is a curious he's um, you know he has also so, uh, very a curiosity about these matters and so we understand that Clark has asked him to be present when he would uh, do the experiment and so Dr. Raymond calls him and Clark is there and so we understand that the point of this experiment is so that someone that we are going to find out who it is um, is going to see the great god Pan. Then we meet Mary that we understand that is a um, protege of Dr. Raymond because he tells Clark that he found her in the streets when she was really young so he provided a home for her and took care of her and we understand in a subtle way that perhaps they have a relationship and so Mary is going to be the subject of the experiment and it does an operation to the brain of Mary Clark is so grossed out that he doesn't want to look so when he realizes the operation has ended and uh, Dr. Raymond is teaching Mary and so we then find out well Mary doesn't end up well after the operation so she like ends up being crazy or absent of herself you know so but we find out if she did or, or if she didn't uh, saw the god pun. And you have to read it to find out. And so after this, this part of the story ends. And then we have another story or a continuation of the story. But we have a new title that is called The Rehearsals or The Essays. Of Dr. Clark or uh, Dr. No of Mr. Clark and then we have here um, an explanation that Clark would write the stories that he would that people will tell him about mystic encounters so everything that is related to these matters he would like to uh, write in a diary and he, he would uh, register those stories 
and then we have we have him because in that morning he's a bit strange he's a bit uncomfortable and but we understand that some years have passed since the first experiment that he uh, observed with dr raymond so some years have passed and he is as i've said he's reading his diary and he reads a particular story of a girl who was as we understand an orphan and she was uh, gave to uh, a man that would take care of her and she would run to the woods and pass a lot of, of time there and the other children of that man would have would catch her with someone and they would be very frightened and one particular boy was so frightened that he had like he collapsed and he had two experiences where he was really frightened and he he, he would blame this girl that in the um, in the story is called Ellen Z and so the story begins to say to us that if Ellen is alive she at that time would be 23 years old she was given to the this man when she was like 11 and so and the boy would call the man in the forest like the the being that he saw with Ellen and he would call to him uh, many times and we understand that he never come back for that, from that experience and so he became a little he uh, became a little disturbed and never come back for, from that Clark never ends reading the story so he, we don't know how the story ends because he was so disturbed by that and he was so strange that morning that he wasn't able to finish reading his own story or his own diary then we pass to another story where we are presented to two new, new characters Herbert and Villiers and the sto this story begins with uh, Villiers talking to Herbert and it's like an encounter of two friends that don't see each other for a long time and Villiers asks Herbert what is going on with him what is happening and Herbert explains that he was married and that with a young girl because we understand that Herbert is now um, homeless and Villier is really admired by that so that's why he asking what happened and Herbert explained that he was married and that when his father died um, all his wealth went to the wife because he explains that the wife was a torment to him he doesn't specify exactly what happened he just says that he said that his wife was very beautiful but it's like she was she had something odd with her and he told that she would tell him things that he wouldn't dream to tell anyone and she would show him stuff that was horrid and but as, as I've said he never explains exactly what that was and then Villiers asks Herbert how um, how his how his wife what was the name of his wife and he says that it was Ellen Vaughn or Vaughan Vo Vaughan I think then a few days pass and when he when Villiers is in the club he uh, turns to a name a man named 
Austin and he asks about Herbert and Austin tells him a story about the case of a man that was found dead and he reads the beginning of, of some strange uh, situations. So Austin and, and Villiers will, will, will have a prominent role in this story. They will be like detectives because some deaths are going to happen, uh, some deaths that are suicides. So um, a strange case of a wall of suicides will happen in London. They, these two will find out that the deaths are in somewhat related. So they have coincidences uh, between the stories of the death of those men. They are all men. And we have the appearance of a strange lady in the city that no one really knows who she is, where she comes from. And then we have Villiers turning to Mr. Clark to try to solve these cases. And Clark is going to tell Villiers that he somehow, and he doesn't ex explain Villiers how he, he knows, but he somehow, somehow knows who is the culprit of those deaths. And then we have here, as I've said, the detective work trying to put the puzzle together to solve these mysteries. Then at first, uh, Clark doesn't want to get really involved in the case, so he tells Villiers that um, perhaps he should forget what he saw um, and what the proofs that he has with him, he should burn them. And but Villiers insists he wants to figure out what is happening, and at the end, we have an explanation for the, the what is happening. If you by now figured out because of what I said earlier, you will understand through your reading that it's a bit predictable. So, and I suppose was not um, the point of the book to be, uh, to have twists that were phenomenal. So, but uh, this story is very linear and is a really fluid breathing as well and it is really uh, quick because this is a really short, well it's a novella as I said so it's really short and as you don't have contextualizations, you don't have descriptions of the places or all the characters or how they were, where they came from with who they are related so we you don't have none of that we you just have the straight to the point plot and you will understand what is happening and who is the culprit of those deaths those suicides and the god pun is related to that so we have here a uh, um, a reference to occult, occultism and the dark matters and so on but you know you'll have to read it to understand what I, what I mean and yeah I'm going to stay here I want to say that I enjoyed this reading so I for well I I was going to say that I enjoy short books because uh, I enjoy uh, starting a reading and finishing it in the same day, um, but that didn't happen with The Turn of the Screw. It, 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 it also was a, a short book, but I didn't enjoy that so much, but this one I really did as it didn't have fillers so it didn't have anything to that was too much or that was in exaggeration uh, it was really entertaining and really fun to read and this work of detectives it was really interesting to follow is their train of thought 
and the things that they were discovering and the proofs they were gathering to find out who was behind the suicides in the city. And so that part was fun, was really dynamic and interesting to accompany. I can't say it was scary, it wasn't, but it was interesting. So it's um, a really entertaining story. I, I think that God Pan is uh, that God that has horns and that has part of, part of the body that's human, another part that, that, that is paws of a goat. So he's really hairy and really ugly. And I heard somewhere that uh, the God Pan would fall in love with humans, with human girls, but as he was ugly, they rejected him and he will do bad, bad things, you know, in return. So I don't know much about the mythology of the God Pan, but if you do, please let us know in the comments. I have to dive in more in mythology to know these, all these stories. But as I was saying, uh, this is a really interesting book and it's going to be really quick. You don't, you are not going to be bored by it because it's so uh, sequential and one story picks up where the other story left. So is a sequence, although with different characters and in different timings. So it's really interesting and I really advise you to go and read it. I hope I didn't give too much away. I don't think I did. So if you have read it, please let me know what you thought. If you also enjoyed reading this book, let us know if you have other interpretations and other subtleties that you catch I would love to know it too and yeah that's it I think so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications please give a like it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.